we found some fantastic four season fifth wheels. So if you're looking to extend your camping season, stick around and check out these awesome floor plans. Hi everybody, Mike from RV Blogger here in front of the camera and Susan's behind the camera. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at some fifth wheel RVs set up for all four season camping. Hey, if you've seen our YouTube channel before, welcome back. And if this is your first time seeing us, welcome aboard. We make all kinds of videos all about RVing and we also have our website, rvblogger.com, where we literally have hundreds and hundreds of articles all about RVing as well. And if that's not enough, we also have our Facebook group called RV Camping for Newbies, where you can join in and learn all about RV camping with your fellow RVers. Today though, we're gonna be taking a look at some awesome fifth wheels that are set up for all four seasons of camping. So stick around and let's check them out. This fifth wheel is the Sprinter Campfire 32BH. It's a very cool fifth wheel because it's got two bedrooms, two bathrooms. It's got three really nice size slide outs and it's a four season fifth wheel as well. So we'll show you all that stuff as we make our way through this particular review. Now right here, the door is sort of located right dead center in this particular fifth wheel. So you walk in and boom, you're right into the kitchen area. It's got a nice big U-shaped kitchen, which I really like that style. You know, when you're in here, it's just everything's easy to get to. You know, you got your sink, your fridge, your stove, your microwave, everything's very handy. It's got lots and lots of storage space above. I mean, that's super deep, like two feet deep. And then you have more pantry space here as well. Uh, so just a ton of cabinet space in here. Down below, there's even more cabinet space. So uh, lots of room in the kitchen area. Now, right across from the kitchen, we have our dinette which is a four seater dinette. And then you move back into your living area. Now this particular model is showing a couch which can pull out into a bed where two people can sleep. So just in this living and kitchen area, you can sleep three people, two right here on the couch and then one in the dinette area. Now right across from the couch, you have your TV and there is an optional fireplace that you can get down below, but in this model, they're just showing some cabinet storage and you also have storage cabinets up above. I also wanna point out this whole entire side is a big slide out. So this is one of the three slide outs that are included in here, but it's nice because it's got some pretty big windows, lets a lot of light in, um, and just makes it feel spacious and airy in here. Now, towards the back of this fifth wheel is where one, the second bedroom is, and it's really kind of a bunkhouse, which is perfect for the kids. So when you come into the bunkhouse, on this side, you've got a window up top, a bunk up top, a jackknife sofa down below, and then right across from the sofa, you have a spot right here where you could mount your TV so the kids can sit there, play their video games, enjoy some TV, and then up top is another bunk. So you could sleep three kids back here very easily. Another nice feature of this is you have a bathroom which is inside of the bunk room. So the kids have their own toilet, vanity, medicine cabinet, all that good stuff. Okay, so just past the kitchen, coming up the steps towards the front of this fifth wheel, bang a left, and we're inside of the owner's bathroom, which actually has two entrances, one from the hallway where Susan is now standing, and then the other would be where I am, which this leads into your master bedroom. Uh, good size bathroom in here. I'll shut the door so you can see the whole thing. But you can see that you have a nice big round shower area here, vanity, medicine cabinet, and then toilet in the corner. And there's even some additional linen closet storage right over here, top and bottom. All right, so here we are in the master bedroom. You can see the ceiling height in here. I don't know, you could be about 6'4 and make it in here okay. I'm 5'11, so just to give you some distance, there's about five, six inches over my head. Um, each side of the queen size bed has a rather large uh, cabinet with a, a rod up top so you can hang things in here. But that's about it as far as the storage goes. Also, there's no like little nightstand on either side of the bed. So it's a little lacking in that category. Um, also, there's really no place to put a TV in here 
Um, not sure where you would put it if you wanted to. Maybe over top of that window could work, but nothing really that convenient. Um, but, you know, for those folks that don't spend a lot of time watching TV, like we hardly ever do, um, it's a good size bedroom. The nice thing is people can get out of bed on either side and there is a good amount of space on each side of the bed to make your way around. And then of course you have your entry right into your, your bathroom here as well. Okay, so here we are in the Keystone RV Cougar 367 FLS. This particular fifth wheel has a front living room instead of the master bedroom being in the front. And we like the look of this. It's a whole different feel. On the right hand side here, you'll notice that there's a really comfortable couch. This folds out into a bed that two people could sleep in. And then behind me here, you have this beautiful entertainment area. It's got a fireplace down below. This has a televator that'll rise on up with your TV coming out of it. And so it's just a really nice setup. On this side of the living room, you'll notice another couch that folds out into a bed that two people could sleep in as well. And then you have these two really nice movie seats. So you can be nice and comfy, kick back, watch your TV, check out the fireplace and be super comfortable in here. Now you'll also notice this particular fifth wheel has four bump outs. We just saw two of them in the living area where both of the side couches are. Both those areas bump out to make this area feel super huge, super large, really nice. As you come down the steps from the living room, you enter into the kitchen area. And as you can see, this fifth wheel has just a lot of countertop space. We really like that. Very open in the kitchen, nice open feeling. And then of course you have your stove, your microwave, lots and lots of cabinet space with lots of storage space available. So very spacious, very roomy in here. On the other side of the kitchen, this is where you'll find your four table dinette, uh, lots of window space, nice and bright in here. This whole area bumps out as well. So this is our third bump out in here. And then you have good size Dometic fridge and freezer. So plenty of room for all your cold storage as well. And then also in the kitchen, right by the entrance door into the kitchen area, uh, you have even more storage. Um, you have some nice shelving in here, so you can do a lot with all this area. So here we are in the bathroom area. Now I'm standing in the hallway that leads from the kitchen area and I'm on my way back to the master bedroom. Susan's actually standing in the master bedroom shooting into the bathroom. So there are two doors into this bathroom, one from the hallway and one private from the master bedroom. Now in this bathroom, it's got a super tall ceiling, lots of light from the skylight coming in and it's really spacious in here. Of course you have an oversized medicine cabinet down below that, good size sink and more, tons more storage space under the sink. And then a uh, corner shower. Uh, I don't have to jump in here and show you the headroom because there's tons of it. Nobody's gonna be that tall. But I love the glass shower doors. I like these rounded doors and things. I just think that looks nice and it makes the most of the space. And then you have a nice shelf in here. Again, tons and tons of space above and below. And in fact, in this area right here, and I really like this a lot, this cabinet is where the rough-in is for the washer and dryer. So now that we've made it through the bathroom, now we're in the owner's bedroom. And the owner's bedroom comes with a queen-size bed, but then you can choose an optional king-size bed. In this particular model, they are showing the king. The, uh, the only difference between the king and the, and the queens is that in the queen-size beds, you get a little skinny nightstand on each side. In the king-size bed, it just goes wall to wall. And this is the fourth slide out in this uh, fifth wheel as well. So it just even gives you more space inside your bedroom. In addition, you have a wardrobe closet in here. So you have lots and lots of storage space in your bedroom. Also, you have a nice um, chest of drawers in here as well. The only area that you could possibly mount a TV in here would be over top of this window. I really don't see where else you would do it, but there are uh, cable hookups and a receptacle up top so you could plug in your TV and pop it up here. 
Another feature we really like about this owner suite is that it has a separate exterior door so that way you can come in and out just from your bedroom area it just gives you a little more privacy and a little more separation from the rest of the fifth wheel and then finally the last thing we really like about this fifth wheel is that it is a four season model as well so you can extend your camping season all year round this fifth wheel is the Jayco Eagle 336 FBOK model, and it's more than okay. This, this model is fantastic. Instead of having a front bedroom, it actually has a front luxury bathroom. It's really, really cool. We'll get to that part of the fifth wheel just a little bit later. But for now, let's get started in the kitchen area. The kitchen area in this particular fifth wheel has a center island. A nice deep double bowl sink is featured as well. It's got instant hot, big old gooseneck faucet. And then across from that, you have plenty of countertop space, all this drawer space, nice three burner range, good size oven, microwave, which is a really good size over top, plus extra storage as well. And then it also has a residential size refrigerator, which we just love. That's so convenient. In addition, it's got all this pantry space. So the kitchen just wraps around into the dinette area. Now, just to avoid glare from the sunlight coming in, we had to pull the blinds down, but there are nice big windows here for you to enjoy. The dinette can seat four people. It's currently set up for two, but you can extend the table. There are two more chairs that you can set up in here as well and enjoy dining for four. As we wrap around from the kitchen into the living area, this is a really spacious feel out here. Uh, the entertainment center has a really nice sized TV built into it. There's plenty of storage above, and then it's got a fireplace down below. In the back, there's a really nice comfy sofa that's a tri-fold, so you can make this into a queen size bed, and two people can sleep out here. And then in addition to that, we have our movie style seating so you can sit back recline kick up your feet watch tv enjoy the fireplace just off the kitchen there is a second bathroom in this fifth wheel and it's a powder room located in a perfect location right by the entry door and also near the living and kitchen area this has a medicine cabinet a really nice size vanity with storage down below and then they just take advantage and put a little quarter shelf in here as well we just came up the steps from downstairs and we enter directly into the owner's bedroom. This features a king size bed. Again, this area slides out, light reading lights over top, windows on each side for a nice cross breeze. And then on this side of the bed, they actually have a little loft area up here, which I kind of think is for storage. Susan kind of thinks it's for the grandkids. I don't know about all that, but we'll see. Anyway, it's a really cool feature. And if you do have little ones that you want to have spend the night up here, you can, or you just have extra storage space. Some folks travel with cats. I bet your cat would love it up there too. Anyway, got a big old built-in chest of drawers here. And now that I've made Susan look down with the camera, I'll have her come back up because this is where your TV would mount to the wall. All right, so here I am in this gigantic bathroom in the front of this fifth wheel, and it's just huge i mean this is the kind of bathroom that you could live in your rv full time and enjoy this setup oh and by the way uh, this is a four season fifth wheel so you could live in here all year round and have a really awesome owner suite setup in here but anyway let's review the bathroom very quickly the shower is really nice size it's uh, four feet wide it's got a seat in there it just looks really 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 inviting very nice then there's a huge closet here which can be used as a giant linen closet or this could also be where you put your washer and dryer because the washer and dryer hookups are already included and located in this closet. Now behind me here in the very very front of the fifth wheel is where you have a large large wardrobe closet. They have a shoe rack built into the very front as well but it's just very wide and spacious. It's the whole width of the fifth wheel. And then as we continue to wrap around, we have a nice vanity here with plenty of counter space off to the left, lots and lots of drawer space, plus you have cabinet space underneath, and then of course, a very large medicine cabinet that you could use. 
and then it just wraps on around to the commode area. But this is a great setup for a you know somebody that's going to live full time in their fifth wheel. I mean, it's it's really really a great owner suite. This fifth wheel is a Montana 3855 BR model, and it has two separate bedrooms in it. It is a four season fifth wheel as well, which we think is fantastic. And it's got four slide outs in it. So it really feels extra roomy and spacious. When you first walk in from outside, you enter into the kitchen area. And as you can see with the kitchen area, you have a nice big island, huge double bowl sink, which is really, really big as far as fifth wheels go. Residential fridge, you have your oven and stove with three burners, microwave over top, but it has some little details to it too, like the wine rack, some of the extra storage on the side, it has this nice big pantry space here. Uh, this is like two feet deep, but just look how pretty this door is. I mean, the glass detail is really very nice. As you move out of the kitchen into the living area, you've got more storage above your TV, lots of storage up there very large TV space, and then you have some of your uh, music controls and then your fireplace down below that. Towards the back of this fifth wheel, you have a really huge couch that goes side to side. This baby folds out into a bed, so more people can sleep in here. You've got storage up above. And then on this side of the living area, we have our two movie theater seats. This can also be a regular couch, which can sleep more people. And then uh, you have your dinette area. Now, one cool thing about the dinette is right now it's set up for two people, but this dinette can actually slide out um, and be used for four people. It's got this nice little extension to it. There's a couple bars that pull out and hold it up, but that way you can get four chairs in here very, very comfortably. Now, from the kitchen area, that's where you would enter the second bedroom. And this is really nice and luxurious too. And uh, this couch that's in here can fold out into a bed so two people could sleep in here. It also has a bump out to give you extra room. But what I really like about it is this room is kind of multifunctional. It's not just a bedroom. It could be a bedroom. It could be used as your living room. You could put a huge TV in here. But if you're homeschooling kids or things like that, they also have a desk in here and you could use it as your little you know, home office or school room for the kids. Lots of storage up above. And again, these are nice, high quality doors, magnet latches. I mean, just lots and lots of space. So from the kitchen area and the main door that comes in, you just come on up the steps. And right over top is this nice loft area where two more kids can sleep up there and enjoy that whole loft situation. So here I am in the bathroom, and this serves as both, both the master bathroom and the bathroom for the rest of the fifth wheel, but it's a very nice sized bathroom. I'm standing in the shower. Obviously, if you're under the, under the skylight, there's plenty of room, but you could be about six feet, three inches tall and fit, maybe six, four, and fit in here pretty well. Um, the shower is really nice. It's got a, a separate sprayer. The sprayer can go up and down on a bar, so it's just a little nicer feature molded fittings in here it's got a seat in the back i really like the glass doors that come in here that's a nice feature it keeps the water in it's just a lot nicer to maintain and then this whole area is very nice it doesn't have a medicine cabinet per se it's just got a mirror but then it has this cabinet next to it where you can store all your stuff nice size sink and then of course storage and cabinets and uh, drawers down below all right, so here we are in the master bedroom, and this master bedroom has a king-size bed, which is just phenomenal. This is the fourth bump out in this fifth wheel. Each side of the bed has a little bit of a nightstand feature, so you can plug in with the USB ports, charge your phone overnight, whatnot. It also has a receptacle on each side, so if you need to plug anything in overnight, you can do that as well. The closet behind me is just a really nice setup. It has you know, furniture grade cabinetry inside here so that you can store all your clothes. Um, it's got a laundry hamper in here. It's got a bar over top so you can hang things. It's just a really, really good size. And then uh, off to the left here is another wardrobe closet, or this could also serve as your washer and dryer location. It comes roughed in with washer and dryer hookups. 
so you could stick a washer and dryer in there. Finally, we have the front end of the bedroom. It's got this really nice built-in cabinet for a TV to fit in there, and it's angled down, so it's facing you while you're laying in bed, which is a really nice feature. And then, of course, it's got this chest of drawers built in as well. This fifth wheel with the front living room is the Grand Design Momentum 376 THS model. Thank you, Susan. It weighs 15,900 pounds and it's 41 feet, one inch long. Up here in the front living room though, it's very, very luxurious feel. On this side of the living room, there's a slide out with a sofa bed. Then in the very front, you have a beautiful entertainment center, really nice looking with a televator and a TV or a uh, fireplace down below. As we swing on around, we have another pull-out couch that becomes a bed with a slide out. And by the way, when both of these beds are extended, there is room in the middle to walk between them. And then you have your movie style seating right here where you can recline and lounge, watch your TV and enjoy your fireplace. Let's head on down the steps and check out the kitchen. So here we are just down the steps from the living room and we're entering into the kitchen area. You'll see that there's a lot of countertop space here, more cabinetry with cubbies and storage room. You could make this a little coffee counter setup. Drawers are underneath. Then you have a four burner range with a full size oven down below and also a full size, size microwave above. There's also plenty of uh, storage and extra cabinetry as well. In the center of the kitchen, there's a center island with a double bowl sink, really nice faucet drawers and cabinet space down below. Then you have a uh, residential size refrigerator in here and then a really big pantry cabinet, which by the way, also would serve as your washer and dryer location. Rough ends are already included. As we swing on around the kitchen, we find more countertop space here, beautiful cabinet doors above, drawers and doors down below. And then finally, we have a dinette area for four, very comfortable, nice big windows in this area. This is another slide out, which gives us even more room in the kitchen. As we come up the steps from the kitchen area, the first room on the right hand side is the bathroom and it has two entrances, one from the hallway and then of course one from the bedroom as well. I'm in the shower, which is about four feet wide, two feet deep, plenty of headroom over my head. I'm 5'11". Uh, there's probably at least eight inches over my head. Then we have an oversized medicine cabinet, very good size vanity top, cabinet space down below. So here we are in the master bedroom. Uh, there's an entrance here from the bathroom or an entrance from the hallway. TV location in the corner. Behind me here, lots and lots of very deep storage for your wardrobe. And then there are drawers down below. Then around your bed, there's even more storage area. And then right here, we have a queen size bed. Now you might be wondering why the queen size bed is so high. We'll run around out back and take a look in the storage area and you'll see why. So here we are out back of, of this fifth wheel, which is also a semi toy hauler. You don't necessarily have to have a UTV or anything like that. You could just put bikes, whatever you want in here. And this area right here is the bed that we saw inside the master bedroom. Now the bed in there can actually raise up even higher to go into storage mode. So you can fit even taller vehicles in here. It'll go up about a foot. And um, this is a very, very unique design that we think is really, really cool. Let us know which one of these fifth wheels was your favorite in the comments down below. And we hope you've enjoyed checking out all these fifth wheels. And in speaking of check it out, if you'd like to check out some of our other videos, just click one of the boxes down below. And remember to subscribe to the RV Blogger YouTube channel when you do and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified every week when we come out with a brand new YouTube video. So for Mike and Susan, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.